All right. Sanctuary. What kind of mess are you going to be, huh? Let's find out. Corrupt Corrupted hairs. There's a sight. You just headbutt a bear. I just made my tank headbutt a small rabbit. Because that's just the kind of person I am, apparently. Headbutt him again. <laughs> Alright, yeah. As expected, hairs, even if corrupted, are not the biggest threat. And not really worth using energy on. That fight would have made Sirma's jaw drop. Would it have, really? Her dialogue's stupid. <laughs> she just randomly does dialogue at random intervals, and none of it ever fits. So like, it's, it's like, eh, even Corrin can fight better than that after we do like a big tough fight. And it's like condescending to him, but it's also like it was a big fight, so it doesn't seem that condescending. And then uh, we do tiny fights that shouldn't matter, and she's like, oh my god, that was amazing. And like, no, we fought, a, we fought a rabbit. Are you insane? All right. Uh, Corrin, go. This evil... Oh. Right, we have... To... Oh. Well. <laughs> I was thinking it would be based on proximity of anyone approaching, but it has to be the Lightbringer that approaches. So now we're trapped in here, and there's two Corrupted Unicorns. Fun! If I'm lucky, they'll focus on Corrin. We'll get some nice head bashes in. Oh, your explosion's not area-based. I said you concussive blast the main guy we're targeting. I'll poison arrow him. We'll do what I can to beat him down. Oh, they shouldn't last too long. I do need to heal. Oh, is healing burst an AoE? No, it's fine. I'll do Poison Arrow. You can do a greater heal on Corrin. We're working on it. There we go. Just keep casting... Oops. Keep casting heals on Corrin. There we go. Just gonna spam those for a little longer. He is surprisingly hard to target. It's so finicky. There we go. Alright, first unicorn's about to be down. There we go. Significantly less risk now. Okay, maybe some risk. Ha, highlight it. No. Did I do it? Ah, oh, crap. I'm trying to heal Corrin, but the freaking selections are iffy results. Okay, Corrin, run away. We'll try to heal you while you run around like a, like a lunatic for a bit. Keep trying to heal Corrin. Uh-oh. Okay, that's a problem. Also. Now Lightbringer runs away. Ah, uh, oh, Lightbringer's dead immediately. Turns out the tanking... Ah, uh, well, crap. <sighs> that's annoying. Get off of Korra. Okay. Chances seem awfully slim for a bit now. We'll give it a go, though. She'll try to keep him healed. Oh. Well, we try to beat him down. So this... Yeah, most, unfortunately, most of my abilities just kind of don't work right now. Ah, uh, no. Yep. That boat's poorly for us. I don't really think Cora, uh, Cora has a good chance of escaping. Nope. Turns out they do comically high damage to anyone that's not the uh, tank. Well, crap. Gonna have to get better about spamming those heals, I guess. Alright, we will try this again now, I hope. Lightbringer should run away as Corrin hopefully takes center stage over here. There we go, just to make sure that they're targeting, every, everyone's targeting the right people. Alright, Corrin. Everyone getting up on this specific unicorn. Yeah. Do poison arrow. You're just gonna start queuing up your heal immediately, because clearly they're necessary. I'm trying to spam whirling blades as much as I can. Heal. Heat. Uh. There? Good. It doesn't lock onto him very well for some reason. Heal. 
I'm surprised I managed to get one of them down and then somehow fell behind on heals when we were down to the last target. That was weird. Uh, might be a little overkill to try to heal right now. I'm trying to wait a second. There we go. Down to one target now. Nope, oh, gotta heal Corrin. Do what I can here. Oh, come on. Did they get mad with... Uh... On with right? the quest. They were too far gone. There was nothing else we could have done. Yes? Wait. Look around their necks. Each one has half an amulet on a chain. Maybe those are what we need to cleanse the shrine. There we go. So we got it. Just barely. Yeah, it's it's weird how they can both team up on Corrin and they don't and he's able to take that. But then suddenly when it's on the last one, Corrin starts getting obliterated. Maybe they had some kind of enrage mode thing going on that wasn't that wasn't clear. I don't know. Uh That could be here. I fitted them together. Do you think the poultice marble made will still work or maybe maybe it only makes things worse. He seems to be the only one who had confidence in what he was doing. It's worth a try. We did promise Olimar. Corrin's still dead. <laughs> it actually worked! Way to concoct, Marwal. So, after we restore the shrine, we should go tell Ulamar the good news. Oh, Lightbringer, look how pretty they are! Can I have a unicorn, please, please, please? I know, I know, too expensive, but an ember can dream, can't she? How does an ember have a unicorn? A new beginning. I'm not even sure how to contextualize that, to be honest. <laughs> how would that work? You don't have arms or legs or physical form in many cases. Well, you have your gem, kind of. Whoa, that's a big boost. Aeon and Lucia. The majestic beast shows no fear as it gently nudges your hand with its nose. Same dialogue for both. Did they have different portraits? They did. No, they have the same portrait flipped both ways. So... Are all the enemies gone? Oh, we also leveled up. Intellect and Vitality. Just you, though. Okay, so now everyone's level 18, which is the maximum of the range around here. Just out of curiosity, are all the... Oh, no, there's still corrupted rabbits everywhere. I'm not really in a hurry to fight all the corrupted rabbits around here, so maybe I'll just move on. This place is a bad shape. I'm sure there'll be enemies along the way, too. Let's go ahead and update my save, too. There we go. What are those? Corrupted wolves, probably? Yeah, there's no reason to kill everything, because presumably I may have fixed everything just now. And so I'd be slaughtering creatures that may actually heal. I should just focus on my primary objective instead of anything else. There's a warg and a defiled bear. So I'm headed down towards the amulet. That's the reason I'm here in the first place. Hey, we're about to complete our objective of coming down here. Whoa, that warg was fast. Alarming. Does poison work on corrupted things? Seems like it might. So hard. It's no big deal, just fighting horrible monsters. I mean, nothing's nothing's gonna be tough as tough here as the uh, unicorns were. Let's go ahead and heal Corrin just to make sure we're good. Ah! That awkward moment when the barrier fighting explodes. <laughs> what do you got, skeleton? I haven't felt this good since corn fell in the pond in Radiance. Yeah, they do not have enough dialogue for how often they repeat, uh, how, for how often they uh, say things after fights. They, I think they have like five variants, but this game has a lot more than five fights! Per zone, even. What's is something going to be guarding it? That looks bad. That looks like a good reason to rest and save. It was a nice, solid sort of checkpoint for taking on the uh, giant green monster demon thing of nightmares and stuff. I'm great at naming things. I don't know if we've been over that before. Hi. What are you? Corn, go get him. It's a Viridian Shard. And judging by the fact that he freaked out the moment Corn approached him, that means there's no dialogue to be had. Let's have, Light Let's have Lightbringer space out a little bit just to make sure that if he does have AoE, he doesn't target all of us at once. Headbashed is immune. A little frustrating, you get a nice stun to help your survivability, and then the game's all like, nah, half the enemies you fight are gonna be immune to that. Too bad. 
about a concussive blast? Also immune, yeah, same effect, I guess. So a lot of my skills just kind of stop mattering once a fight starts like this. But hey, poison works, I guess. Am I taking 450 damage per tick? Wow. Maybe you should heal yourself now. There we go. Do a quick pick me up, pick me up on everybody. There we go. Much better. Oh, he's not even close to going down yet. This is, t this is taking a while. I need better attacks. <coughs> Sorry about that. Oh, he's dying while I'm s while I'm sneezing. Corn is dying, like you do. Ah, just heal everyone again. Might as well use the uh, potion cooldowns as they come up. Seems like the reasonable thing to do. At this point, I'm basically just spamming poison arrow. Wait, nope, that's not what I meant to do. I have to drag. Right, drag the heal. There we go. And I can pretty much do this again, too. Everyone's fine. Ignore the ignore all of the weeping wounds everywhere. They'll get over it, I think. She needs some, some extra mana. To heal Corrin. There we go. This will be necessary again. There we go. We're almost there. Getting close. Also, out of my, I can't cast any more poison arrows, but I probably don't need that again. We're pretty close to the end. He's awful tanky, isn't he? Okay. Come on. Okay, now now Corrin's dying again. I thought we could get through this. There we go. All better. Come on. <laughs> Just take that little bit of damage left. He's not going down. Okay. I keep thinking he'll be down any minute now, and I won't need to heal anyone else. That's not the that's not the case so far. That's a pretty big that's a pretty big poison AOE. It seems to hit absolutely everyone. I think you'll be okay. Yeah. Time to rest again. I think. Ow. Well, at least we had a high percentage of, of bonus experience when we took down the big bad. Poison elemental, I guess. Hey, oh, yeah, she just leveled up and she's already at twenty eight thousand in. That's pretty good. Let's go place our amulet. I can't use that. Okay. Where is that item hiding out? There's an amulet, right? There we go. Oops. That's another thirty grand right there. Oh yeah, she's at 60,000. She just gained half a level in a few minutes, basically. So you can't use the altar. You just inter you just put that there and then leave, I guess? Do we have any objectives left to do here? Guess not. It's that simple, huh? Uh, hunt for the unicorn, speak to Rose. Hidden entrance for the blade. Speak to Olimar. Ember mines, dock. Yeah, I think we're. I guess we're here. Done, then. That basically means we're done with the entirety of this uh, cow region, then, huh? All right. I'll head back out. Hey, buddy. Don't want to alarm you, but I basically solved all your problems. You are out of sanctuary. Tell me. The cure worked. The unicorns are grazing peacefully in their paddock. I believe the shepherds can start returning to sanctuary. Carefully. We have no words to express our gratitude. What you have done for us today will be remembered by the shepherds and by the creatures of the plains for aeons to come. Peace to you always, Bringer. That's a big deal. We saved everything. Speak to Rose. So that's the thing I want to step in on because that was we found the grave of somebody around here. I guess we're done here completely, huh? That's it. Ta-da! All done. That's the end of the Shepherd Plains. So now the game pretty much boils down to Cliff of Giants and Ember Mines? Where am I gonna find Rose exactly? Someone's by the farmlands. I think that's Rose. So we should go talk to them because we went, went reading through that extensive uh, record about the unicorn. The unicorn hunt. Kind of a bummer that... <laughs> well, no. 
I was gonna say it's kind of a bummer how quickly we did that because it was such a long story about that place and we did it like instantly, but uh, they were tough fights. Uh, it's definitely believable people would have died along the way. I've already been robbed twice today, thank you. I really don't have time for chit chat now, friend. I'm sorry to disturb you, but I found the grave of Marcus the Old. I believe he was from your village. He failed then. I had feared as much. Cruel times we live in. He never should have went. He's seen too many winters to make such journeys. Do you know why he went to the Shepherd Plains? He went to ask them to let him into the ancient sanctuary there. Our village was sick. Marcus went to look for a cure, the old fool. He had read about the ancient uh, magic. He had, he had read about the magic from, of unicorn blood, seen the best hope. Is your village still sick? For now, no. The scourge seems to have burnt itself out. But who knows if it will come back. Poor, poor Marcus. Leave me be. I wish to drink alone. So he went... So the entire town is being wiped out by the plague, and he t he came there and tried... He had a whole crew of people, including his own family, trying to stop the problem, but they all... Presumably all died. Period. That's it. It's a sad ending. And we got two more level ups from that. It's like we're in a hurry to level up, isn't it? Wow, yeah, she just she just, just leveled up this episode, and she's already that far along to level 19. That's a that's huge. So not much more to go on with that storyline. It's just you kind of acknowledge that it happened, and that's it. So we're not doing Shrine of Radiance until we get back, so now it comes down to Ember Mines and Cliff of Giants. Well, I already, I already sort of started the path towards the Ember Mines, so I might as well follow up on that now. Just kind of as the next logical step. How convenient that all these people keep hanging out right next to teleport spots. Hey, Jaren. Yes? You're standing on private property. You should, you should leave immediately. I am a lightbringer and I need to visit the shrine within the mines. More experience, because of course. A lightbringer, you say? You mean those powerful beings of, from myth and legend? Maybe we can help each other. How about you use that legendary mystical power to see why King Harfast hasn't come back out of the mine since he entered a few days ago? Find my king. Visit your shrine. Win-win. The king of dwarves is lost in the mines. He went in a few days ago. He was supposed to take a tour, shake some hands, kiss some babies, and then come out a few hours later. I'm getting a bit worried. Why'd the king go into the mines, despite the part where you just actually kind of already told me? King Harfest had no reason to stay in the City of Light after Victus decided to run away and hide his head in, the sh in shame. Before going back home to Gwenfire, he decided to take a tour of, this, of his mines. They are very impressive, after all. Why haven't you gone to look for him? I am a man of honor. I was told to guard the entrance, so that is what I will do. How do you think it would look if I left my post just to find him sharing some ale with his hard-working miners? Not good. That is how it would look. I'll find your king. Great. You are officially allowed to enter the mines. Please find our king. Oh, and good luck at your shrine. It was a in pretty uh, sad shape last time I saw it. All right, boys. Move out of the way and let him through. Please shave our king. Well, that was convenient. What's up here? Oh, that's how you get to the Cliff of Giants. So, in, in both cases, I had to come by here. Okay, then. I wonder how extensive this one's gonna be, because I took out the last zone in like 10 minutes. Oh, someone's under attack. So, down there is Harfast. Let's go for it. Help! They've all gone mad! They've all gone mad! Underneath all that? The others have gone mad! I gotta warn the guards! Well, couldn't just warn them slightly sooner? <laughs> it's apparently been days, but he's just now warning them as I Help! conveniently am coming mad! in to save the day. And not... Oh, I don't need pickaxes, I keep selling those anyway. <laughs> okay, first of all, I need to deal with the fact that we have, like, no space to move in here. There we go. That's better. Cora, Get a little distance. There we go. That makes more sense now. That dialogue's amazing, though. I'm gonna strangle you with my beard! So, not a threat I've heard from dwarves yet. Uh, they're obviously strength-based weapons. Let's compare, though. 
that's pretty good. Replace Whirling Blades with Flash Strike, get bonus stats across the board? I think yes. That was plate armor, right? Yeah. So just to review, what's Flash Strike? Teleport behind your enemy and stab them in the back for high damage. The, the high damage could be useful against some, some of those boss enemies that aren't that are immune to the, sh the uh, stun. Losing my AoE attack is a bummer, but I definitely prioritize stats over all else, because you never know when things will change. Oh, debilitating strike. Bash your target's head, dealing low damage but sapping energy. Ah, uh, no, I think I'll keep... I think I'll keep my head bash. Grab the coins and move. You may find that I'm being slightly less thorough with some of these dungeons and ready just to move on, because I am kind of over-leveling the game, and I very rarely get new gear, because I think if you've been paying attention yourself, too, like, at this point, it's fairly easy to observe that the diff the curve of uh, of loot is kind of not very interesting. Uh, everyone in an area just kind of gives you the same items, and the, ra the rare items that you'll find, like, a non-crude version of an item, that it, it itself is not particularly interesting either. Good luck, you. Oh, come on, am I stuck here? Oh, there we go. We can fit through now. So, so far exploration has not really rewarded me with loot that's that interesting, and I don't really feel like it's worth pouring over every little square pixel of every dungeon, as opposed to just moving on and having a better paced experience instead. So I'm go kind of going in favor of just uh, finishing the content instead. Normally, in any other game, I'd be worried about missing side quests, but in this game, that's not a thing, because the game marks every single side quest on the map before you even know it exists. And so since that happens, I don't, I don't need to worry about missing side quests, I only have to worry about missing loot. And the loot seems pretty, miss seems pretty not worth being worried about as far as missing goes. Flash drag. Boom. <laughs> Just keep flash striking him even though he's not even facing me. Haha. -ha! <laughs> it's probably not the reasonable way to handle that, but it was funny to me. <laughs> uh, what is that? Oh, it's a shield. Let's check that out. I don't know if I've gotten a shield super recently. Nope, it's crap. It's worth a look, though. Flash strike or leap. Uh, AoE stun. He already has a stun, though. Same debilitating strike again. Try this again. Ooh, bonus damage. Oh, it's two-handed is why. Yeah, I'm not going I'm not changing away from having a shield, because him being the tank is clearly the only reason my party lives half the time, because some da some dangerous stuff is dangerous stuff has happened otherwise. So now here's an upgrade for my main character. It's gonna give him Berserk. But more importantly, a whole bunch of stat upgrades. So the shield. The bow. Nope, less damage across the board. Not worth it, apparently. Yeah, minus 81 average damage. What am I using right now again? Crude sand silk engraved. Crude sand, sand silk strung. Huh. I guess it's just not worth having, right? I don't know how to calculate the speed necessarily. One has speed of one, one has speed of 1.2. That probably doesn't justify losing uh, 80 damage, though. Is there going to be a locked door down here? I just feel like there's going to be a locked door because it's just such a straight shot to my current goal. He'll probably point me to go, go in other directions, though, I'm sure. As far as thoroughness goes, though, I also had the additional excuse earlier of the fact that uh, I didn't necessarily want to wipe out all of the... Didn't necessarily want to wipe out all of the uh, wildlife, because it was all going to become... As far as the lore is concerned, was all going to become uh, healthy again over time if I didn't kill it. Probably That probably won't happen within the time frame of the game happening, but eventually, supposedly, according to the game, that, that'll happen. No more casting from you. Enjoy the head bash. There we go. A little bit of ore. So now we got casting items. So we have, we have loot for everybody in the party here. Silk weave gives you ground smash. Not really interested in that. I'll grab the potions. And a crappy weapon. It was worth a look. Is that a bigger crowd down here? Yeah, it is. Rampaging Dwarves. 
Oh, they're all using Berserk, too. Concerning. Alright, uh... Concussive Blast? It's supposed to be an AoE. That'll hopefully help a bit. Just trying to use some suppressant here to deal with the crowds. Should probably heal him next. He'll be fine-ish. Oh! Kind of got some attention here. Aha! Well, teleporting sure works. Aggro continues to be strange in this game. Oh, he started attacking Lightbringer. Oh, I'll walk away a little bit. Oh, he forgot Lightbringer existed. Strange. <laughs> there we go. The whole reason he attacked Lightbringer too was also because Corrin used Flash Strike and left his melee range, which leads to him being uh, ignored. There we go. All clear. All better? I should probably just actually rest. Any better we uh, variants? Lightning Strike versus Head Bash. Quick Strike that ignores your target's defenses and cannot be avoided. I'll keep the Head Bash, I think. I'd rather replace the other uh, the other attack if I can. Lightning Strike again. Flash Strike versus Silencing Strike. Uh, silencing them is not my goal either, necessarily. Might be able to find something cooler, though. Ground smash, yes. That's better. Where'd it go? There it is. And that's what I, that's something more like I'd, I'd like as an AoE. That's nice to have. Charge? I'll keep ground smash. I'm happy to find that. He's right down here. Almost there. Any more bad stuff? Yep, the, that gate's guarded. Might as well recover. All better. It kind of starts to look like Smaug's domain with the just the giant pools of lava that almost has a golden sheen to it. Let's get Korra to step back so she's not attacked with the rest. There we go. It's ground smash time! Yay! I have an AoE now. <laughs> That's good to have. Let's go ahead and give up. There we go, he's going down. So where are you gonna where Wait. I thought he was doing a volley, but I never really I never really saw the saw arrows come down. Strange. There we go. Let's go ahead and grab the gold. I think I've more or less got the skills I'd want at this point. So I'll just grab whatever money I can find. Gotcha. Oh, leather. That could be good still. No, I don't want to leap. Never mind. There's like no chance of this being good. Well, it was worth considering. The possibility, perhaps. Maybe. So we're supposed to be right through here. Any enemies in the way? Nope. Looks clear. Yep. Alright. Oh. Who is this thing? You have come to express your gratitude. What is going on here? King Harfast was about to go home. I gave him suitable cause to postpone his trip. How, how long have you guys been doing the standoff? Days? This is all you're doing? Yes, and I accept, I accept your thanks. What better way to keep the king here than to create a small disturbance at his favorite mine? The miners have gotten mad. What have you done? I wonder if you remember the properties of Tainted Ember. Remarkably virulent. Very easy to... mishandle it. How do I cure the miners? Cure? I'm certain they will find one someday. For the time being, though, there is not much to be done for them, except to put them down, as you've been doing. So, they won't harm anyone else. I suppose this is all... This is for my benefit. What do you want from me? I only want what you want. The restoration of the shrine. As you have learned, it is a simple matter of placing the king's amulet on the altar. But why traipse all the way to Gwenfire to acquire it? 
so much more convenient to have uh, for you to have the king and his amulet right here. You didn't have to do this. What? You mean the miners? Please, spare me the hand wringing. The loss of a few ditch diggers is trivial when considering considered against the immensity of our goal. Now, let my pets take care of the king for you. So much easier to get the amulet from him once he's dead. Uh, no. How about we... How about instead we, uh, you know, just ask for it? Like a normal person? You so you psychopath? Oh, King Harfest, his health's not going down at all, so I think he's gonna be a-okay. I wonder if he'll just give it to me right off the bat. If, if that's the case, then this isn't really much of a zone, is it? The uh, Shepherd Plains made me think it was good that this zone would be much more extensive. I guess... I guess that uh, Sanctuary was the dungeon for the uh, last amulet, though. So, perhaps this entire west coast I already played through was supposed to be the zone before here. I just did it earlier, and so on, which made this feel short. Almost there. Well, everyone's dying now, except for King Harfest. And there's a queen back there. Oh, she's down. Queen Arista. She almost looks... Is she human-sized instead of dwarf-sized? Uh, King Harfest seems nice enough. So I'd rather him not die. There we go. Hopefully they have something good in their pockets. Feeling better? Don't mind me, I'm just gonna, you know, loot your guards real quick. I'm sure you don't mind. We saved your life, right? Ooh, 40 armor. Don't mind if I do. Cool. Uh, why is... Why do... You're the king. Why do your guards have crude weapons? That's weird. Forceful attack on your targets. Uh, dealing damage that cannot be avoided. Not, I, well, I was going to say I like him having a stun, but his new his new attack is actually a stun. Oh, killing blow. Exploit existing wounds to deal more damage to lower your target's health. Is That could also be good. Now I'll do overpower. Could go either way, though, honestly. Anything else here that I can loot from? Nope. I'm grateful for the help, Lightbringer. And it gives me a chance to tell you what a great impression you made on that sham of a council. Victus was in tears. Did my heart good. So now, you've provided me with entertainment and a good battle. Are you and the Queen all right? Aye, we're fine. Queen Rista is a bit banged up, but she's tougher than me. I've got the scars to prove it. Did he say anything else to you? No, he didn't. And that made it even queerer. He corners us and then he just stands there. I didn't know what to think. Whether he was waiting for something. With Rizda injured, we didn't want to risk an attack. I'm hoping you can return the favor. The Darkbringer said you had an amulet that can help me restore the shrine in, this mi in these mines. You mean this old thing? It's been passed down from the king to king for thousands of years. I'm leery of handing it over since he wanted you to have it, but... I guess I trust you well enough. Here. If it could uh, if it could see its way back to me eventually, that'd be a kindness. Thank you, King Hardfast. The way out should be safe. Yes. We better get the queen out of here and tend to those injuries. Good luck at the shrine, Lightbringer. And we're clear. Just gotta clear our way to the shrine. Ooh, yep, way over there. Uh, we could make a decent time if I go take the way if I go back the way I came and go around that direction. We'll see. Is there anything stashed around here? Looks like a bit of a dead end. All right, cool. So this was a quick one. We'll see how the Cliff of Giants goes. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a bigger deal. This whole book setting up that place. 